Hey, this is Lance, and I'm going to suffer through Ban This. No, I'm just joking. I'm not going to suffer through it. We're going to watch Ban This and, like, try to remember stuff. Um, and this is for Chrome Ball Incident number 37. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it starts, huh? That's a drawing Neil did for Stacy. I think I have it, I hope. Maybe Stacy has it. Oh, so this is a recreation, a mock-up. Oh yeah, this is a mockumentary right now. Oh goodness, dummies. Dummies have to be in every video part. Look at Neil, look how hot he is. A lot of it is, um, I don't know. I think it's Stacy, most of it I think it was Stacy remembering or hearing stuff we're talking about or messing around and say, hey, can you do that again, kind of thing. And then this is just, when you get with Neil, you just feed off the bizarreness and just try to be dumb. And uh, it ends up just being just bizarre fun. So is this at my house or Neil's house? We were talking about this the other day and Neil thought this was at his house, but I think it's at my house. So this is at Neil's house. This is his ramp. And uh... I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> this, this is Neil's art and stuff. This is Neil's house too. I think Stacy was really good at like trying to incorporate uh, parts of skateboarding that really needed to be shown, but even if they weren't on his team. Um, This was so fun to do. <laughs> Neil's so good. Oh my goodness. We're just running around pretending we're doing stuff. Neil's actually doing stuff, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All this stuff just happens like so quick and it's like, you know, back then you had to film, you, you know, film for one day and that's the part you're like, I didn't really get to spend any time doing stuff. And then, uh... <laughs> I don't think I even skated this ramp. It was so hard to skate. Yeah, this thing was so brutal to skate. And it was all about it at this point. Was that dog always there? Like yeah, this was hap that was happening as it was done. Um, and this is like, I mean, the incredible thing about Neil is people see him from this footage and like GNS footage, but He's kind of like Mark, like, oh, this is at Neil's house. He's kind of like Mark, like, his real footage was never documented. It was like, video was after, like, this is years after Neil was like, kind of already changed the game kind of thing, you know? And same, I think Mark was, maybe not years, but um, I think the most of the stuff Mark Gons did wasn't really documented. And a lot of this stuff comes from, that's what they did 10 years before. Like, hey, Stace, Stacy's like, hey, can you do that stuff you used to do, you know? So, um, this is we're going to eat. I don't know how it happened. Stacy ran and got the camera. I was like, hey, let's do this stuff here. And it's just like, we're so over it. <laughs> but that's what makes it. <laughs> no, I mean, that's what this is. This is like, uh, not over it, it's... Uh, it's just being dumb. It's just being dumb. Like, it's done. It's just funny that he got to really capture this stuff, you know? Because Neil, like, really hasn't been on camera a lot, you know? Possibly because of this. But Stacy would, they'd just always bounce ideas around and talk about things and skits and ideas. I don't know, there, I, there was conversations I had with him that I thought whether he got a different take or I got a different take about, but that spurred in my mind ideas. The parallel was one. I did that girl. Um, it was a totally different premise when it started, but it was all about a, it was all about this curb, skating a curb out in front of your house when you're a little kid, and then just seeing the progression, skating it and enjoying it, and then getting to a place where you're over it. You don't 
touch it anymore and it gets sure. overgrown and then like the next generation starts skating out and you're just all, you live at the same house and you're pissed like, get off my yard, get out of there. And then getting older and older and older and then to the place where like I was 60, 70 years skating the curb again. And I had that idea like in the Pal days that we never made that skit. But somehow when we came to do the girl one, that the parallel turned into that rather than the curb. So don't use any of that because I'm going to use that curb one again and nobody will recognize. <laughs> and then the dream, um, it was my version of skating in the house, exactly. Uh, like, because when that was happening, when those things happened, it was more like, it just happened. And you're, you're not planning for it, you're not thinking about it, it's just done. So I think, yeah, in my mind, I'm always watch that part going like, like I said, I'm not even doing it, I'm running through the house. So I've always had it like, oh, that'd be cool to do the the way I picture it. And it's not to undermine what we did then, it was like continue doing it. Um, and I always felt that I was able to do it on no money and no anything and able to do it on a better premise because it wasn't one day and you know what I mean? You have to, got to think about it for years and go this is the way I'd love to do it. I'm sure it doesn't have any of the impact these do. And that's what the dream really was. Hi, is Lance home? And that's why Neil's at the end of it.